Welcome to USANA Live Americas and Europe Virtual Convention. Kicking things off, David Mullum and Jeannie Price. But first, a muy caliente market welcome. Yeah, hello, USANA family. Welcome to the 2021 Americas and Europe Virtual Convention. On behalf of all of us at USANA, we are glad you, you are here. And might I say, David, you are looking svelte today. Why, thank you, Jeannie. It must be my new skinny TV, although I'm feeling a little boxed. In hearty har har. <laughs> I can see that. But isn't technology just amazing that you can be here live on the stage all the way from Sydney, Australia? Oh, yeah. Yes, we're bringing you this amazing virtual experience from all over the world, Jeannie. Yes, and we love that you are watching from all over the world. That This is USANA Live, a true live streaming event happening right now. And thousands of you are experiencing the Americas and Europe Convention with us at 
at this very moment, it's wonderful to see you participating in the live chat. So hello, everyone. Yes, hi. Many of you are feeling your need for connection 100% Virtually. And others of you are able to hold small team or family watch parties. Hey, Jeannie, what do you think? Should we crash some of those watch parties right now and say hello? Face to face? That sounds really fun. Let's do it. We are Yusana. Hi, Yusana. Oh, Hi, everybody. Hey, Great to see everybody again. Yeah, all right. Stay right there. We have quite the show lined up for you. You know, USANA's events are epic, and this virtual one is no exception. Instead of long general sessions, we have divided up the content into bite-sized themed sessions with 15-minute breaks in between. So be sure to look at the agenda and follow us from one session to the next. You can navigate to what, um, what you're looking for on the general session landing page. I mean, did you see today's lineup? Yeah. Kevin Guest, Future Lab, Sessions all about products and business. Viral storyteller, Jay Shetty, and a gala to recognize you. Yes, and tomorrow we have inspirational speaker, Nick Wojcic. And Dr. Oz and special guest, Barbara Corcoran. Dr. Myron Wentz, an enlightening associate exchange, six times Olympic medalist, Matt Grievers with Athlete News, and some inspiring stories from your fellow associates. Yes, but right now, we're going to turn things over to Jim Brown, president of USANA, to talk about some of the great things we are doing as a company. Thanks, Jeannie and David. USANA is doing some great things, and it's a thrill to be able to share some of this exciting news with you. As you know, everything we do is grounded by our core values. If it doesn't meet our requirements for health, community, excellence, and integrity, we simply don't do it. Each of these four core values creates an intrinsic beacon of action for us. Health is our foundation. It's what drives us to cultivate a holistic view of wellness that supports a healthy body and strong mind. Health is the vision and the mission. Mission. Excellence is the conduit of delivery. We rely on scientific research to provide innovative, healthy living solutions and empower all individuals to continually improve each day. Excellence is evident in everything we do. Integrity is our guiding force. We demonstrate honesty, responsibility, and accountability through our individual actions and corporate decision making. Integrity is manifested in who we are. Community is not only who we serve, but what we create. We support, care for, and encourage one another and the world to live happier, healthier lives. And we are constantly striving to better reach and serve our global community. So today, I ask four leaders from USANA to share some key updates that highlight the good things happening with our community. Up first, Executive Vice President of Communications, Amy Heron. Thanks, Jim. As business owners, most of you have probably heard about the importance of relevance. The world's most successful individuals and companies have a thirst for improvement and especially a curious mindset. When we become comfortable and feel like we have all the answers, we drift toward irrelevance. Staying curious is our first line of defense. So what does curiosity look like here at USANA? Many of you probably think of our research and development team, who I can attest are the epitome of curious scientists, always asking questions, testing ideas, and incorporating new information into their work. We really do love to get nerdy around here. 
But USANA's curiosity extends far beyond our labs today. In fact, the subject that comes up most in our hallways, executive discussions, and Zoom meetings is you. We want to know what you and your customers think, and more importantly, how USANA makes you feel. From that button on a web page that's hard to click on your phone, to your experience with a new product, to your overall expectations of USANA and how we're meeting them, we are obsessed with hearing from you. We have wrapped up that curiosity into a broad customer and associate listening program. To simplify, we call it our community listening program. You've likely seen pieces of this program yourself. A few examples include our listening survey, this is a quarterly listening survey sent out to a sample of associates and customers around the world. The long, this is a longer form survey, which helps us track our overall customer experience, what's most important to you, and how we're delivering on our brand promises. Over the past year, we've confirmed that a large majority of customers and associates believe our science-based approach to nutrition continues to set us apart from other brands. So what are we doing with that information? We're continuing to invest in our present and future with cutting edge research and development. On the flip side, we also understand our top areas of improvement include simplifying the login process, increasing flexibility of auto order, and expanding training for associates. Clear feedback like this helps us set long-term objectives as a company, prioritize improvements, and track the overall loyalty and happiness of our community. Another example of community listening is the digital feedback tool. This simple feedback tool is now embedded in every one of our web pages and the majority of our app pages. You and your customers can select from a sim simple scale of smiling or frowny about any moment in your digital experience with USANA. And you can provide additional details if you have time. Your more than 40,000 responses over the past year using this tool have been transformed by IT and user experience teams in finding bugs, creating design improvements, and understanding your needs. Each week, a team combs through every one of your responses to this survey to prioritize digital projects. And we're even going back to customers and associates who reported they were frustrated to make sure they're taken care of. Our community listening program extends to every touch point we have with you and your customers. From your experience with customer service to how a customer feels when they get their first USANA package. One touch point I'm especially excited about is the new notifications platform. We've heard your need to connect with USANA in a variety of ways. Because of that, we are proud to be rolling out a new communication experience that puts you in the driver's seat. Personalized, data-driven notifications about your orders, payments, enrollments, and more are now available via text, app message, the hub, and email in many markets. We'll roll out these channels to all markets by the end of the year. And we'll continue to expand what we offer in this area. So as you can see, that curiosity, that obsession with you and your experience with USANA is more than just community listening. We're acting every day on what you have generously shared with us. So please, make sure your voice is part of this powerful program. If you or your customer receives an invitation to offer feedback, Share it with us. Your voice is critical to helping USANA remain relevant. Amy, we really appreciate everything you and your team are doing for us. I'm curious, what else are you hearing? Well, one thing we've heard a lot about with our community listening program is the subject of sustainability. Our community really cares deeply about our long-term impact as a company. So perhaps you could enlighten everyone with what we're doing in that respect. Thanks, Amy. We've been making strides in sustainability for years, but we're definitely acting on the need to do even more. It's an important topic of conversation in many of our board of director meetings. And if I had to put someone in the driver's seat of sustainability efforts, it would be board member Peggy Pelosi. 
Peggy began her career with USANA in 1999, becoming the first female vice president. A year later, she began asking the question, how do we give back to the community? Her passion and drive led to USANA's relationship with the Children's Hunger Fund. She eventually left her role as an executive to contribute to a bigger purpose, helping companies find their corporate culture and purpose. And now she is back home, serving as a member of USANA's board of directors and helping us further shape our corporate social responsibility endeavors. Let's find out why she's so passionate about this initiative. Thank you, Jim, and hello, USANA family. It's great to be here with you and share with you the purpose fueling our sustainability plans. I'm thrilled to serve as the board advisor for USANA's Corporate Social Responsibility Initiative because this is something I am deeply passionate about. As a fierce mother of five amazing sons, I honestly feel it's my duty to leave the world to them better than I found it. That's a big responsibility and I cannot do it alone meaning we all have to be in this together to make a difference. As Jim mentioned, I left my sales executive position with USANA to pursue my true purpose in creating a consulting firm to help other companies find their social purpose. I inherently believe that businesses move forward by giving back. I'm so sure of it that I wrote a book on the topic called Corporate Karma. Philanthropy and caring for community are central to my core values. One of the biggest components of caring for community is protecting our precious resources. We must continually and committedly nurture the earth for generations to come. But a healthy planet is only half the equation. It's also our USANA to create the healthiest family on earth. And it's our responsibility to nurture humanity. I have seen a lot of positive social change in the world, but we still have a long way to improve diversity, equity, and inclusion. Don't we all want to feel healthy, safe, and included? To not only be part of a healthy community, but to actively contribute to it? Let's do this together, USANA. Let's make the world a better place. And now that you understand the why driving our sustainability efforts, let's figure out the how. For that, we turn things over to our new Executive Director of Corporate Sustainability, Donald Cherry. Thanks, Jim. It's good to be here with you and to hear from Peggy Pelosi. Her passion really is contagious. I've been with USANA for more than 15 years, and in that time, I've held multiple roles. Each experience has been exciting and fulfilling, and I've worked with some really amazing people along the way. But when I got wind that there's going to be a specific team created to direct our sustainability efforts, I knew immediately that I wanted to be involved. You see, in those same 15 years, I've witnessed USANA do some really great things. If you've ever had the opportunity to visit the home office in Salt Lake City, you more than likely notice the water-friendly landscaping around the campus, and that alone saves nearly 3 million gallons of water each year. Or maybe you've flown in for convention, you've looked out the window a few minutes before landing, and saw a building with USANA on it, and saw that it was also covered in solar panels. There's also changes around the building that you may not have noticed while taking the tour, like our switch to LED lighting to conserve energy, the water-conserving faucets, our recycling program that allows us to recycle or reuse 50% of our waste in our operations, including pallets, raw material containers, electronics, and plastic wrap. While we've done a lot of great things in the past, we know that there's much more we can do in the future. Today, I'd like to give you a glimpse of where we're headed. And keep in mind, this is just the beginning. As you're aware, anything we do at USANA starts with two vital questions. How does this contribute to the healthiest family on earth? And does this align with our core values of health, community, integrity, and excellence? Well, I'm here to tell you that our sustainability program is no different. We've based the program on three key pillars. People, planet, and product. Each of these things have specific focus areas within them. So let's talk about planet. We know that healthy bodies need a healthy planet to thrive. And while we've taken significant steps to reduce our impact in the past, we're actively developing strategies for the future. We hope to announce our specific goals and action plans in the coming months and years. With our focus on environmental stewardship, we're committed to reducing our carbon footprint. We're equally as committed to reducing the amount of waste that gets sent into landfills as opposed to being recycled. And speaking of recycling, 
we're, we're taking significant steps to reduce the environmental impact of our packaging across the product's life cycle. We know how important sustainable packaging is. And so we're committed to moving our nutritionals to bottles made from post-consumer resin where we can, and reducing the amount of plastic we use to produce and ship each of our products. So speaking of the product pillar, our utmost priority is the science-based nutrition company is to deliver the highest quality products at all times. This remains the case in all of our sourcing as we know that this is our key responsibility to you. We've also developed relationships with and sourced from vendors who understand and meet our quality standards. This is also an area where we're actively working on strategies to expand on what we currently do. Now, people. When it comes to people, we wanna make sure that we create an environment where every member of the USANA family feels safe, cared for, and has the best opportunity at a healthy lifestyle. We know how important it is for us to do our part in creating a globally inclusive community. Our global diversity is something that we've always been proud of, but we know that we can do more to increase that diversity while creating more equitable and inclusive environments and experiences. That's why we've established our Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Council. Initially doing work focused here in the U.S., we'll expand to all communities in which we operate and identify ways we can have the most significant impact. This action item starts with community engagement, education and awareness, plus training and development. Ultimately, USANA believes in a brighter future, and we invite you to embark on our sustainability journey with us as we aim to improve the world for generations to come. Thank you, Donald, for leading the charge in this crucial initiative. And before we move on, I want to show you something. This is the new post-consumer resin bottle Donald just talked about. So when you see this new label in your orders, you will know the bottle is made from recycled material. This is a big step towards our sustainability goals. We're rolling out the new labels and bottles as old supplies run out to reduce waste, again being smart about sustainability. Going hand in hand with our sustainability efforts are exciting new operations update. For that, let's turn it over to Chief Operations Officer Walter Note. Thanks, Jim. So there are big things happening in operations. Excellence is one of our core values, but operations is not just about cleanliness. It's about quality, efficiency, and speed to market. Our ultimate goal is to make products in real time. That means we want to make them as close to customer demand as possible. So here's some things that we're doing. We're incre increasing our shipping and efficiency and speed. We're augmenting and and improving our forecasting models and tools. We're keeping things flowing and in stock. We're not panicking. This doesn't happen overnight. We're improving our machines and our processes over time. We're investing in infrastructure to support a five, six, or seven billion dollar company. We invest in systems and automation. I'm excited to tell you about four such recent investments. First is our new health pack machine. So this machine is is running. We're testing it right now. It's three times faster than our old machine, which means we get things to market faster. It's more efficient, there's less waste, and it supports our sustainability efforts that we just talked about. This reduces errors by about one-sixth of what we had before. It gives us options we've never had before. It's easier to make things for different markets, for different health packs. Also, each health pack is gonna have new film, which means it has a white backing and a clear front, and it's printable. It's really gonna be a beautiful product. I think you're gonna be really excited about it. We also have a new stick pack boxing machine that we've installed. This machine is for boxing probiotics, and it's much faster than what we had before. It's more efficient, and there's less waste. Also, I want to talk to you about a new automated stick pack machine that we'll be putting up in about three or four months. This machine is three times faster than the current machine. Now, you also know that we've uh, put a barb manufacturing plant in place. 
Now we're looking to increase our output. In other words, we want to make things faster. We want to make things more efficient. This, inc this includes an auto packaging machine that's coming. We've also done a new partnership with a company called Built Bar, and they're helping us do R&D. So with this R&D, there are three new bars that are in development. It's a vanilla, a chocolate, and a coconut bar. They're really great bars. I think you're going to be really excited about them. They're up on the horizon. You're going to see those soon. So long term, I want to talk to you about a few things. We're looking to automate single serve powder packaging. We're adding automation to Tel Aviv. We're automating a lot of things. But machines aren't the only part of the process. There's a people factor. There's a lot of effort that goes into making all of this work. And everybody knows their roles. I know people that have been working on our lines for 25 years. We're helping these people become more independent and they use their natural talents to learn new things. Bottom line, it's a whole team and community that's behind you, supporting you. For more information, check out the Home Office Virtual Tour. It's co-hosted by me, and it's available on demand here on this platform for the next 30 days. That's a great update, Walter. We're listening to what... ...doing our best to deliver, literally operating on our core values. Now to bring the community listening program full circle. What we are hearing from you is caring for the earth and the communities that populate it. Are two of the top concerns. What if we could combine those two powerful needs into one innovative initiative? Through the USANA Foundation, we have been working on a project to bring food security and self sufficiency to families and communities that need it most. And we're launching it right here and now. USANA Foundation President Brian Paul has the details. He can't be here with us in person, so he's joining us virtually. Brian? Thanks, Jim. You know, for years, USANA has been a leader in innovative solutions that help people reach their true health potential. It's that spirit of innovation that has driven the USANA Foundation to look for solutions of providing sources of nutritious food to families in need around the world. Over 815 million people go to bed each night on an empty stomach. Every year, 3.1 million children die due to poor nutrition. That's 8,500 children per day. The Foundation's Global Meal Initiative provides a temporary source of immediate food, food that helps families dealing with crisis and extreme poverty. Through great partnerships like Children's Hunger Fund, we have put boxes of food in the hands of thousands of families, totaling over 52 million meals. But what happens when that box is empty? We are passionate about answering this important question, and that is why we continually challenge ourselves to find ways that empower families to feed, nourish, and provide for themselves, not just for today, but for years to come. Over the past two years, we have been testing a mechanism that has helped thousands of people in Kenya with a sustainable source of nutritious food that has elevated not only their physical health, but also their mental health, giving them a renewed energy and self-confidence. Now, ready to share this with the rest of the world. The USANA Garden Tower. We are so excited to present to you USANA's simple yet immensely powerful solution for sustainable, nutritious food. Seeing their faces light up when they realize that they can change their lives, and it's a simple thing. It's just a garden tower. But really, it's so much more than that. We can give a legacy on this place that has been feeding my family for quite some time. It matches perfectly with the vision of being the healthiest family on the earth. It is tasty and it is yummy. I love it. They're changing other parts of their lives because they can sell vegetables and fix up their houses and pay for their kids' school fees. Es lo bonito, recibir el fruto de lo que cosechaste. 
I have changed my life. A garden tower is a three-dimensional system that can provide five to eight meals per week for a family of six all year long. You simply fill a sturdy mesh cylinder full of soil, plant either seeds or seedlings, water, and watch it grow up to be a giant heap of goodness. A garden tower uses a fraction of the resources that traditional gardening requires, a fraction of the land. A full-grown garden tower measures about three feet wide by four feet tall, perfect for urban areas where land is not available. Plus, it uses about 30% less water. A garden tower can be harvested repeatedly for three to five years. There are also important income benefits to garden towers. After years of testing, many of our families have been able to grow more than they can consume. And have been able to sell the extra in the market. Even manufacturing garden towers has created opportunities for learning new skills and earning income. Meet Agnes. Years ago, Ago, she was left to raise her children by herself with a limited income, an income so small it required her children to work instead of attending school. Thankfully, she connected with our team in Kenya who taught her how to use a sewing machine. Agnes now earns money running a small team of sewing garden towers for families in her community, and her children are now back in school giving her and her family a chance to thrive, not just survive. Now, here's the exciting part. For a small donation of only $20 USD, you can provide everything needed for a family to have a garden tower of their own. The fabric, the soil, the seeds, and the training necessary to successfully grow and harvest food for years. $20 allows a family the benefit of sustainable food source and an increased self-reliance. And the best part is your donations will aid the people in your own backyard. The garden towers can be created, donated, and appreciated right in your own communities. Now, let me introduce you to a couple great associates who are excited to get going on this new garden tower project. Kits Ascension from Canada and Randy Krebs in the United States. Kits, let's start with you. Why are you passionate about this program? Hi, Brian. I'm actually super pumped up with this project. I think it's one of the best things that USANA has ever done to help the global family, right? And I think, you know, it's like our USANA supplement that uh, helps everyone to, you know, grow their nutritious food in their own backyard. And I love how it actually um, supports or promotes self-sufficiency. Yes, kids. I love to hear that. Passion coupled with purpose makes the world go round, right? Randy? How will these garden towers impact your community? Hi, Brian. This goes so well with the Kids Eat program that I have been packing and delivering food bags for almost two years. And to think that there is so much hunger and poverty in, the, in third world countries, but no, it's right here in our country as well as in our community as well. And with these garden towers will be able to train children how to grow their own food so that they can share what they grow with the community. You're so right. A simple way to change lives in your own community. And speaking of simple, Kits and Randy are going to demonstrate how quick and e easy it is to put one of these garden towers together. They're back with their teams for a little garden tower time-lapse competition. You guys ready? Okay, go. Okay, here they go. 
All right, so what they're doing is they are filling these uh, this fabric, this durable mesh fabric with with uh, soil. Now, they're going pretty quick here. It probably took them maybe a half hour with their team effort. That's what's so awesome about these things is when you build them as a team, it's kind of like the greatest team building exercise. But you work together, fill it with dirt, and then now they're going to be planting seedlings, and that's that's what you got. It's pretty awesome. Way to go, guys. I think we'll call this, though, a time-lapse tie because everyone wins with the Garden Tower Initiative, right? Thank you, Sauna family. Thank you for not only making a difference for you and your family, but for communities all across the globe. I, for one, can't wait to get my hands dirty on this project. This is our core values in action. Thank you, Brian, for all you're doing to further our goals to care for the community in a sustainable manner. As you have just witnessed, we're listening. But more importantly, we're taking action on what we're hearing. We're doing some really great things at USANA, and we hope you will continue to be our value partners in these endeavors. Now back over to Jeannie and David. Just incredible, Jim. Thank you for that action-packed update. And now we have a call to action for you. Next year is an important one. USANA will be celebrating its 30th anniversary. So in honor of 30 years of building the healthiest family on earth, let's build 30... thousand garden towers. We know that that is a huge goal, but we believe you can help us achieve it. Yeah, over the next 12 months, we hope to raise enough money to provide 30,000 thousand garden towers to people right in your own communities and all over the world. So your ticket purchase for this Americas in Europe virtual convention is a great start because it's actually a donation and has already provided one garden tower for a family. That means that we are already on our way to reaching our goal. Yeah, let's take the next couple of days to propel us toward that goal even further. Just click the donate button at the bottom of this page and add another garden tower or more to meet our goal. We're also going to have a running counter throughout the event so you can track the progress. Are you guys excited? Yay! Yay. We can do this, you son of family. Okay, well, I feel like I've run a mental marathon with this opening session. <laughs> Shall we take a quick break, Jeannie? Sounds good to me. But come right back because Kevin Guest is up next with his always insightful leadership forum. Yeah, thanks, everyone. This concludes your use.